The Book of Sacred Names by Jacobus G. Svart is the second volume in his Shadow Tree series. Do you need to have read volume one? No, you don't. I don't own volume number one yet. Having read this volume number two and being completely uh, impressed with what I've read, I will absolutely be getting volume one and every other volume in this series. If you have ever used any kind of magic that involves using sacred names, specifically Hebrew names of God, um, whether it's just just Adonai or um, uh, yod heh vav heh or um, or Ararita or, you know, some of the, the more obscure ones. Um, if you have ever heard of the Shem Ham Meforash, if you've ever heard of the 42-fold uh, name of God, if you've ever heard of just any divine name used in a magical context and if you've ever used a divine name used in a magical context this is the book that's going to explain to you what uh, what it's about from a kabbalistic perspective this is a book of practical Kabbalah, um, so applied Kabbalah uh, not um, not the kind of Kabbalah that's most common, really, the kind of Kabbalah where, um, which which is a a, a a mental exercise of prayer and devotion. This is applied Kabbalah and um, and looks into, yeah, how the various calculations can be made uh, to um, to to affect particular effects in one's life. Uh, but it's very careful. Careful is the wrong word. It's it's kind of different in its approach to a lot of um, you know uh, results based uh, Kabbalah magic that I've read in the past. I'm going to yeah. Let's let's be frank here. Uh, if you've read anything by the Gallery of Magic. My guess is that this is the source. You know, the Gallery of Magic have been very secretive about their sources. They have mentioned Jacobus G. Svart on their website. They've actually uh, put a blog post out uh, uh, in their FAQ. Uh, somebody asked, are you uh, Jacobus G. Svart? And um, the answer was no, no. And we actually disagree with some of his approaches. Uh, my initial uh, assumption was that Damon Brand was Jacobus G. Svart. And the reason that I'd come to that uh, conclusion was because I was looking into the possible origins of their sword banishing ritual, their sword banishing rite, which is fantastic. I absolutely love that rite. And it uses uh, some sacred names which I hadn't heard of before. So I was doing some research on those names. And the only place that I was finding those names was in a book by Jacobus G. Svart. And uh, so I, I, you know, that that was my initial conclusion. However, then a little bit later in one of my news videos, I was saying that, yeah, I, I think they, they might be the same, one and the same person. Uh, Jacobus G. Svart actually reached out to me and said, no, they're they're really not, uh, um, and um, uh, and it and and sure enough, you know, um, uh, Jacobus published this particular book, which is the second in his series, in two thousand eleven. <clears throat> the uh, Gallery of Magic books started appearing in two thousand. 13, 2014. Uh, so yeah, they you know co coincidence. I suppose only if you're feeling particularly kind. Now, on the other hand, of course, the Gallery of Magic have been a, an introduction to magic to many, many people. And I would never have discovered Jacobus G. Svart if it hadn't been for the Gallery of Magic. Um, should they have acknowledged Jacobus G. Svart? Uh, 
I suppose that's going to be a matter of opinion. Um, uh, uh, what I will definitely say is that if you've been using the Gallery of Magic's um, methods and are curious about why it works and what's going on under the hood and why these particular uh, rights have been used and so on and so forth. And it's not all his work, right? They they clearly have uh, some some um, uh, work that comes from the Black Pullet and they've got some some you know m m many many different sources, but. Uh, but yes, this seems to be a very, very clear inspiration for at least some of their books. All right, let's uh, talk a little bit about the contents here. I didn't particularly enjoy his introduction. <laughs> uh, the introduction uh, was, uh, yeah, I, I can understand it. It's a response to the criticisms that must have been leveled at him after his first book. Uh, the first book was called The Book of Self-Creation. And yeah, I'm absolutely going to be picking that up based on the strength of this second volume. Um, uh, yeah, any, anyway, he, he says in, in, in about 10 pages, I don't care what you think. Let me tell you at very, very great length how much I don't care about what you think. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it doesn't come across like he doesn't care what, uh, what, what his, uh, his detractors think. But, um, but anyway, I can completely understand that. And this is yeah this this was his platform uh, his his book he's he's clearly doesn't have a a very strong uh, presence on social media at least not that i've not that i've come across without searching for him and so yes his platform is his uh, is his book so why wouldn't he be able to uh, to respond to his uh, to his critics uh, in that introduction however once the introduction is over that's when the magic really starts and uh, he goes to some yeah to to some great lengths to explain to us very very clearly very methodically um, and very accessibly how how these sacred names work what they're related to where they come from how they uh, are supposed to um to affect the material world and the other worlds by the way um and and i really like his his approach uh, that there are some recommendations on you know what what to do to to, to make a talisman to uh, to to get good health and to get uh, uh, financial uh, uh, wealth and uh, and so on and there's even a, a, an entire talisman that he creates um, that, um, that that's, that features on the front over here actually that's that's his own creation based on all of the knowledge that he uh, has shared with it the reader throughout the book it's fantastic it brings it all together in a single talisman it's beautiful absolutely beautiful work he explains every single little detail of that talisman uh, but then uh then yeah then there's uh there's there's this uh there's another talisman for uh attracting wealth um and he explains every single little detail of that talisman and explains you know why why it works the way it works why certain letters have been omitted and and so on and so forth so a very very different approach from the gallery of magic who say just say yeah do this and, and it'll work and uh yeah sorry if you confused about why it works that's not what we're here to explain this is precisely what he does what Jacobus Svart does he explains why it works and it's beautiful <laughs> I will say that it's not a book for absolute beginners right uh, as accessible as it is as uh, clearly written as it is you know he he is a, he's an educator he cares about the reader understanding what he's talking about there are no obscure phrases there's no uh, you know uh, 10 page long long sentences you know none of that it's all very very clear but he does excuse me he does assume that you have a minimal grasp of the absolute basics right this is not your first book on kabbalah uh, you will 
you will need to know what the tree of life is. You'll need to know what the four worlds are. You know, very, very basic stuff. If you've spent more than 10 hours studying the Kabbalah, uh, then you're ready to read this. If you've, uh, if you've read two books by Lon Milo Duquette, you're ready to read this. It's uh, it's very very accessible, and uh, uh, he, <laughs> he does actually give you a nice introduction to all of the letters at the beginning and so on and so forth. It's just once in a while, you know, because he goes into such depth, he does kind of assume that uh, that 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 you're not an absolute beginner. But um, if you, as I say, about ten hours of study maybe even less um uh, will 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 be more than enough um to 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 find this not just accessible but fascinating you know and exactly what you're hoping to get your teeth in and anyone who's uh, who studied kabbalah maybe 10 years ago or or whatever uh, yeah you're you're going to oh you're going to love this guys you're going to absolutely lap this up um uh, I, I put okay. What did I particularly like about this? <laughs> well, the uh, the the seventy two uh, fold name. The um, you know his his explanation of of the the Shem um, uh is 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 just not a way that I'd ever seen it explained before it's 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 wonderful <laughs> it's wonderful and it's all from a very um yeah it's it it just feels a little bit less cheap <laughs> you know it's it's not cheapened in the way that many many books present it you know many books present it as okay so there's this divine name whatever uh use these three letters put together and uh you can you know, you can get your nails to grow faster, or <laughs> whatever it might be. You know, uh, find a find a a, a a nice car, or uh, you know, whatever. You know, is very very mundane. Here, it's it's all explained in in, uh, in 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 sacred terms, and it feels like it's it's presented in context and uh, and and I really appreciate that you know really really appreciate it and then yeah right at the very back of course all these very cool talismans there's about five or six if i remember correctly um yeah um, yeah these they're uh, five five precisely uh, but uh, as you can see it spans many many pages because each amulet and remedy and and um spell is explained at great depth um at great length and um, um in, in absolute detail it's, yeah as i say it's fantastic i'm rambling um uh yeah it's a self-published uh paperback edition it's uh print on demand that's why i've put uh, a, a plastic cover on it um uh, there's really, really nothing special about the about the, the the construction of the book itself. It's you know it's perfect bound. It's um, um, reasonably reasonably nice quality paper. I don't think that this is going to um, is going to yellow too fast, uh, which is nice. And it's uh, a, a nice large font as well. Very very comfortable to read. Um, and uh that's about that's about all i'm going to go into really in terms of the uh, of the uh, physical uh, aspects of the book uh but yes as you can see it's all very very thorough there we are uh the book of sacred names expect me to review um many more of jacobus g svart's books over the coming Weeks, months, years, they're not cheap, okay? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, especially for a paperback, but uh, you have to understand that they are large. You know, there's a lot of work put in this and he's not going to sell millions, you know? he's uh, This is very, um, very, very niche. And so in order to make it worth his while of course he has to to put the prices reasonably high and with this number of pages the the price of production on a 
uh, print on demand book is is very high. I I don't expect that he's making a huge amount of money on these books, you know. So um, so yeah, as I say, uh, uh, maybe this particular one isn't the right one for you. Um, uh, uh, but what I'm delighted to be able to report, having read only this volume two, is that you don't need to have read volume one in order to um, uh, fully. Um, benefit from volume number two. Now, I am absolutely going to be reading volume number one um, right now. <laughs> um, uh, I've got I've got parts one and two of the book of magical psalms waiting for me on the shelf over there. So that's probably what I'm going to uh, move on to next. But there's also a book of talismans, actually, yeah, which is even more expensive at the moment than, uh, than, than than this one. I don't know if it's particularly larger or, or the reason for 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 the uh, for the very high price. And then there are two volumes on um, uh, immediate magic, which sounds very uh, very practical. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. That's my my thoughts on Jacobus G. Svart. Fantastic work, sir. And thank you so, so much for uh, uh, for putting this work out into uh, the world for people like us. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, you know, click the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.